It's like breaking up with a girlfriend, dude. Who am I without WoW? I've been burnt out on WoW, so I've been... I've been dabbling. And I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to all 18 dads in the chat. There's only five people in your chat, dude. 18 dads? My guild disbanded due to drama. Ugh. Dude, let's talk WoW here for a second, folks. The straw that kind of broke the camel's back for me was how picky people were being in week two of Nomragon. LFG chat, trade chat just flooded with must have completed six out of six and, you know, be geared. And it's like, dude, the average player probably isn't like, dude, I don't even want to talk about it. So like, really, it's just, it's just kind of the attitude of the players that got to me on top of the grinding and all that. But we'll see. That's why I'm playing Lost Ark again. I expect, I expect the gatekeeping four and a half months, hardcore playing it every day, doing everything I could to get the best gear. I didn't get all my biz items. I think I ended at like 12 out of 16 or 13 out of 16 biz items by the end of phase one, which that's like the hardest I've played well. And I was super like stoked about that, you know, and excited. Once phase two starts, it's like the reset button and everyone grind, you know, no more gone now. And I was like, I don't know if I can do it. Like it, it started to feel like a job for me of like clocking into wow to like grind no more gone every three days. And I'm like, that's when the joy starts getting taken out of it for me. Like I want the experience for the viewer to be good. And if I'm not joyful and enjoying the game I'm playing and the game is becoming like a nine to five job, I'm like, dude, then that's not a, you know what I mean? I don't want to film and record that and then edit videos from a guy who's like, hey guys, welcome back to WoW. Here's my millionth run at Nomragon or whatever. Yeah, I feel you with WoW. It feels a bit done. But like the average guy you bump into, dude, he's just, he's a sweat. Dude, just a try hard sweat fest neck beard, man. There, I said it. They can just be so rude in that game. And that that's the straw that broke the camel's back for me, kind of. Remember, we have uh, what, 23 minutes left in the stream. Get those requests in now. Thornsy, yeah, I feel you. The community was amazing at the beginning in phase one, but it sort of slowly turned towards the typical wow degenerate path, unfortunately. Yeah. And I again, I talked about this earlier in the stream, but it's just that, dude, that's part of that genre. And especially with wow, it's just, that's part of wow's charm. <laughs> You're just going to get those guys. And I, I attribute it to kind of like, that game is so t intense and wow is the kind of game that you like love it and you just get into it really it's like you've heart you don't meet many people that just dabble and play a little most people who get into wow love it for obvious reasons it's an awesome game and like they get too into it like we most 99 percent of players all been there and done that with wow where we just play way too much because the grind is endless so then it creates like that culture in a sense. You're gonna get the people who are just like so gung-ho about min-maxing and leveling as fast as you can. And like, maybe I just need to approach WoW with a different point of view and stop being like, oh, I'm gonna get all the best gear and get geared and all that. I'm just gonna dabble and have fun. But like, that doesn't go with my personality in a way. Cause I'm always like, if I see a guy all geared out and I'm like in crappy gear, I feel like, why am I even playing? You know, so it's a weird catch 22. I, I'm not just gonna fish while with uh, like-minded people is the best, but it's hard to find the right people, right? And that's what I was saying. I've gone through like three or four guilds. I've found an awesome guild of nice, chill, relaxed, cool guys who are polite and laid back but they just don't play as much as I, I play or I want to. Like, I want to run the dungeon every three days. And those guys only ran the dungeon three times in phase one. So that didn't work out for me. Then I, I met two or three guilds that would grind it every three days, but they were, to be honest, they were just rude and mean and hateful and, like, sarcastic and just 
like constant sex jokes and weed jokes and booze jokes and a i'm trying to change first and foremost like i've been that guy and i don't want to be that guy anymore and like i am getting older i'm 42 and so guys when you've heard as many d jokes as me when you're 42 dude you've heard a lot of d jokes another d joke dude ah i'm, I'm not that's not me no more dude well, it's not a bad idea to try to hop on some new games, at least stream-wise. I think it's fun with something new. As a viewer, that is. I, we'll see how it goes. It, it doesn't matter. At this rate, it's still a hobby. Um, and I've loved... And I've loved it. You know, it's been really fun and awesome. This is more about me and letting people into, like, what I find interesting and my passion about Christ and everything like that. Thornsy, I'm definitely not Christian or religious at all, but I'm very spiritually interested, and I think your content that revolves around it is very interesting. Awesome. And I have to keep checking myself of like, Steve, what are your motivations? Like, do you love doing it? And I do. Oh, the girl called him. Hey, sorry, I've been caught up in homework and forgot to come check out the stream. Oh, it's okay. The girl called him. You don't have to apologize about that, but you have to apologize for apologizing about that. Real Steve TV. But now I'm, now I'm part of your guys' IRL though. If you think about it. Ow! The girl called him. Haha, you say your name after you say something like you're quoting you. That's hilarious. Well, you know how I do. Real Steve TV. If you stick around, he says a lot of insightful stuff for a 42 year old. He's. For a 42 year old man, he's advanced for his age group. He has a little trouble with the 43 year olds, um, he doesn't like the older adults. So, Thornsy, you are the guy from Sweden. Okay, I thought so. So I missed that chat. But guys, give it up for Sweden. Thornsy, you could, like, turn me on to all the Swedish people, dude, and then maybe I'll go global in Sweden. The most, dude, the most famous American Swedish Twitch streamer in the history of Swedish American. But I'm going to keep... We're going to find a game, and we're going to beat it. And that that's my... And that's my promise to you as a Twitch streamer. Peace, Peace out. Peace out.